Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I will be sharing with you some fragrances that I added to my perfume collection. These were ones that I've been wanting to get for quite a while and some of these were blind purchases and one of them was a love at first sniff. I'm going to start with this one right here. This is Azaro's Wanted Girl EDP. I've been wanting to get this one since late 2019, early 2020, ever since I started watching perfume videos on YouTube. And this one, they always describe this as a beautiful, creamy, dulce de leche, caramelly, spicy floral. And this is always included in like sexy florals or, you know, um, gourmand fragrances and perfect compliment getters, you know. And I've been wanting to try this i don't know why it took me so long i think the reason why was because this goes for i think almost 80 dollars um in our local discounter website I posted about this and jimmy Choo elicit in my community tab last year i asked you guys what you thought about this fragrance and this was already in my card from fragrance x but you know this is one of those fragrances that you know is in my card out of my card that i take in and out of my card and i just couldn't decide so anyway when I finally got to sample this one, thanks to Claire Smith, Dr. Claire Smith, she gave me a decant. And as you guys can see, I obviously love this one because I used up my sample or decant right away. And I put this in my car together with other fragrances with my haul. And one fellow perfume lover sent me a message on Instagram asking, hey, have you tried Wanted Girl EDP? I know she loves this one. And I was like, very funny that you asked because I was given a decant and I'm going to get it right away. It's in my card right now and she was like i am planning to sell my bottle do you want it of course you don't need to ask i'm gonna get it and it was just like the fairy perfume fairies were you know guiding me because what a way to get a fragrance you know especially if you want it really really bad and you're given an option of getting it you know right away instead of waiting like a week or two weeks so anyway she sold me her bottle this is a 50 ml bottle and she didn't really use a lot from this fragrance i know she loved this but i think it was too much patchouli for her so anyway i love this as i said i used up my um decant right here this is a spicy lactonic white floral i get a lot of ginger in the entrance dulce de leche i hope that it was more prominent i know a lot of people mentioned that dulce de leche isn't really prominent in here but i still get it very faint i have a feeling though that this one will bloom more or like it will wear better during fall and winter so anyway this has the tura orange blossom and very a very prominent pomegranate in the entrance and in the base this has patchouli vetiver and tonka bean so right now this is very spicy on my skin during its spring going on summer i think it's already summertime so um you can never really guess because it just snowed yesterday whatever so i get a very strong ginger in the entrance pomegranate is very forward as well so a hint of dulce de leche and a beautiful blend of patchouli tonka bean and vetiver in the base so i think i'll be doing a separate video of this one because when i smelled this i immediately thought of two or three fragrances ones that i still have in my collection and ones that have left my collection so i'm gonna be talking about this one in a detailed review with this purchase she gave me her partial bottle of brazilian crush che rosa 71 this you guys is amazing i love this this is caramelized vanilla and macadamia this i prefer over the original che rosa 62 I will be repurchasing that, but I love how this one is more focused on caramel and dulce de leche. And this one is a denser scent profile compared to 62. 62 is like fresher because of the fruits in it. And it has, you know, like a nuttier, saltier kind of accord to it because of pistachio. But I mean, I love both of them. I prefer this one. I love it. I just hope that this one lasted longer because this is so short-lived on my skin and on my clothes. I have to bathe myself with this one, but anyway, I am very happy that we already have this in our website, coolshop.is. I will be buying another bottle of this when I'm out of it, and I'm planning to get 62. And let me know if you guys have tried Coco Cabana. I think it's 39, the green one, and the pink one, Chirosa 40. Let me know what you think of them because I'm planning on doing like a Brazilian crush haul. With those four fragrances we don't have the newer ones so i'm getting i'm planning on getting the four of them so those were the two purchases from birna okay one gift and one purchase from her and as you guys can see this is black opium illicit green if you guys have seen my anti-haul video i mentioned that i'm not going to be buying any black opium fragrance i don't know what happened 
I have this. I tried the original black opium like years ago, five, six years ago. I think six, seven years ago when I first came to Iceland. I went to the store and asked them what's your best seller, what's the fragrance that you, you know, is most popular. And they told me it's black opium EDP. So I smelled it. It was nice, but I just felt like the scent profile was too rich for my liking. It was like it didn't really fit the kind of lifestyle that I had. And so anyway, and when I started watching perfume videos, a lot of people mentioned that, you know, it's a very nice coffee fragrance, gourmand, floral. And yes, it is. But I think I was underwhelmed with the original EDP because I expected more coffee because of how people describe the fragrance. But, you know, if I just think of it or approach it in a different way and think of black opium edp as more of a, a fruity floral then i would appreciate it more and i think i appreciate it more now so anyway i went to the store wanting to buy yes i am edp by casherel repurchase they don't have it anymore so i don't know if it's getting discontinued but okay i'm not gonna you know i hope not so anyway i saw this one and i know i had to try it i knew that this one had fig and i love the color i think i'm biased because i love green so i tried this one I fell in love with this one right away. This was a love at first sniff. I got the original EDP or like the EDP DNA. I smelled them side by side, EDP and this one. I got the EDP DNA, but this one is fresher and it's more of like an all year fragrance, whereas EDP I think is better worn during fall and winter. And I smelled it together with Black Opium Neon. This is a sample from Kim, Canada Kim. She gave me her sample. And this one I think has raspberry. So this one is more like red or pink berries and this one has fig. So I really love this one. I was gonna get a full bottle of this, but when I fell in love with Black Opium Illicit Green, I had to smell them together you know side by side neon and illicit green and i just fell head over heels with this one so black opium illicit green is a vanilla sweet fruity coffee fragrance it has notes like pear i get a lot of pear in the entrance i guess that's why i love this um adp the original one has pear too so this has pear and fig and fig leaf i love fig and fragrances i learned that i love fig and fragrances so this one has both fig leaf and fig for the florals this one has orange blossom and jasmine but i get more jasmine in here and in the base this one has bourbon vanilla coffee and patchouli i love it this is an all-year kind of fragrance an all-year kind of like fruity fragrance and it's because of fig and pear and mandarin orange um let me know if you want me to do a full review of this one loving it now let us go to the blind purchases i'm gonna start with this one this just like with azaro's wanted girl this is one fragrance that i've been wanting to get you know since forever i see this on youtube a lot and instagram and i don't know why it took me so long to get this one i think it's because of the polarizing reviews like people usually say that you either really love this or really hate it and Usually, I would go for those fragrances that are polarizing, but I don't know what, what took me so long to get this. So anyway, Amethyst by Lalique. This is the original. I think they also have the Eclat version and Exquise. I really want to get those too because I love this. This has a bunch of berries. This is basically like a blue-black berry kind of fragrance. This one has black currant, blackberry, blueberry, mulberry, big strawberry. I don't like big strawberry. What's big strawberry? So it has all those berries. And for the florals, I get a lot of ylang ylang and rose in here. There's pepper also listed as one of the notes, but I don't really get pepper. This is mainly a berry, black, blue berry fragrance on my skin and in the base this one has musk woody notes and bourbon vanilla this one dries down still very berry forward on my skin but then you know i get more rose and ylang ylang in the dry down so this one i know this is compared a lot to meliora parfums de marley meliora and i have that fragrance so i'll be doing a comparison video after i film this video this is a beautiful fragrance i sprayed this immediately on my skin you can see like it was here when i got it i use this a lot ever since i got this fragrance this is beautiful an all-year fragrance i'm excited to wear this one during fall and winter because i think i get more woody notes and musk um in the dry down when i wear this during um fall and winter but right now during summertime i really enjoy this one a lot and it's such a bonus because yes it shares some similarity to meliora and i love that fragrance but i can enjoy that berry accord from meliora for a fraction of the price so this is amethyst this is a blind purchase this is anise anise by casherelle and this is the flanker premier delice i, I 
I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly. So I originally wanted to get the original Anais Anais. And when I did this haul, I purchased these together from coolshop.is. And when I did the haul, they no longer had the original. And I try to, when I do a haul, I always try to include like classics and vintages in my hauls because you, know, you guys know I have a soft spot for those fragrances. But for this haul, I decided to get the Flanker. It's a floral, fruity, sweet fragrance. And this was released in 2014. Um, there's a different bottle of this one. I expected this to come in the clear bottle, but I think, you know, the newer bottles just look like this and the original EDP2 looks like this one. So this is a very fruity, sweet floral fragrance with powdery cacao dry down. Yes, this has pear. Well, obviously I love pear and fragrances. I have we have it in black opium illicit grain and we have it here so this is very pear forward it's pear bergamot orange and galbanum in the middle this one has hyacinth and peony and i think you know like this the, the whole bottle the design it looks like a peony flower and in the base this one has cacao and cedar so i was drawn to the notes of cacao and how they would blend together you know with um pear and all the fruity notes but you know i guess with how the fruity notes and coffee in the base in black opium lucid green, how everything worked together. It's the same with this one in Premier Delice, an ace and ace. This is so beautiful, you guys. Like I expected this one to be, you know, because when you go to Fragrantica and read the reviews, they either, you know, really love this or they thought it was too, you know, synthetic, it was too fruity. But for me, I just fell in love with this one. These two, like this haul, all in all. Like, this is like one of my best hauls ever because I love everything. It starts very fruity, a lot of pear, a lot of orange, and it dwells in that fruity, zesty, kind of fresh um, accord for quite a while. And then in the dry down, it becomes more powdery. Cedar is not really that forward, I think. I feel I would get that more during fall and winter, but I don't really get a ton of heavy, like woody notes, but cacao I get in this one. So I think together with hyacinth and cocoa, that's where it becomes, you know, powdery. And that hint of cocoa, cocoa here is very similar to how cocoa is in Orchid Vanille. It's not directly like a chocolate fragrance, but you know, you know that it's there in the dry down, you know, it's like a soft chocolatey cocoa kind of scent. This is amazing. This is a, I don't know, like an underrated hidden gem or whatever, however you want to call it's it. Amazing, an affordable fragrance. This is an affordable fragrance and this one too. And this one, I think you can find it for like 40, 50 ish dollars for the 50 mil in Fragrance X. I don't know with the other websites. So out of this, you know, entire haul, this was the like pricier one that I purchased. This is the 30 ml, but I bought this one because, you know, aside from, you know, it being a love at first sniff, we had a 20% discount. It was a tax free sale. How can I forget? I repurchased Sea God from Theodoros Kalotinis. I think it's been, <laughs> I forgot about this one because this is already like in our bathroom. Like we store our perfumes in our bathroom. So my husband uses this. So I repurchased a bottle. This is another 50 ml. And I'm going to show you guys the empty bottle. I posted about this fragrance on my Instagram. So yeah, I repurchased this one from Theodoros Kalutinis. So, so these are some of the fragrances that I added to my collection. So with Wanted Girl and Leek Amethyst, these were ones that I've been wanting to get, wanting to add to my collection for a very long time. Black Opium was a love at first sniff, impulse purchase. Sea God was a um, repurchase. And Anais Anais Premier Delice was the um, blind purchase hidden gem in this haul thank you so much for watching today's video you guys have fun much love stay safe and see you in the next one